Hi, I have a buff loving station duo and now I show you how to recover data from it. Since it is a duo device, meaning that uh, there are only two drives in it, uh, write 0 and write 1 are the only possible write levels. In my case it is a RAID 0. However, no matter what the right level is used in your buffalo, the recovery actions are the same. Namely, uh, get the disks out of the buffalo, connect them to a PC running Windows, launch your claimy file recovery software and save the recovered data. To get the disks out of the buffalo, first you need to turn off the device. Uh, there is a three-way switch on the back panel of the buffalo. Here it is. Moving the switch to the off commands the device to shut down. While the buffalo is shutting down, the power LED on the front panel starts blinking. This is normal. Once the buffalo shuts down, remove the power and network cables. Now it's time to open the case. Press your thumb on the recess on the side panel and pull the front panel like this. Take it away. These are our drives. Uh, note that the drives are labeled. That is very convenient when, for example, you replace them. To pull the discs out of the buffalo, you need to press a plastic stopper under the disc while pulling the ring with considerable force, like this. The second drive is extracted in the same way. Ok, these are our drives. There are several options uh, to connect the drives to the PC. Directly to set a port on the motherboard. This is the most preferable but uh, tedious option. Additionally, some PCs do not have enough reports. The second option is to use an additional set of controller to which then connect the buffer drives. And the most convenient but not widely recommended option is to use a set of USB adapters along with power adapters. I choose this third option having prepared two sets of adapters in advance. Each set costs about $25. Now connect our drives to the PC. First uh, connect set of cable. Then power. Do the same for the second drive. Insert the plugs into the socket. The drive spins up. And then connect our drives to the computer. Once you connect the drives, uh, you get a bunch of messages uh, suggesting you to format the drives. Cancel these messages. Buffer 
cupola is designed in such a way that along with you the partitions uh, there are a lot of service partitions of various sizes. Uh, since they do not contain you the data, uh, we are not interested in them. But uh, from the Windows point of view, uh, they are regular partitions, uh, just not formatted. That's why it asks you to format them. Now it's time to launch your Claimy file recovery software. To do this, open browser, type in www.reclaimy.com. Click the download button, then run. Launch. When launching, Reclaim Me File Recovery scans all the drives for data partitions. It's important not to abort the process and let the software finish the scan. Look for Buffalo Partition under Linux and Divide section. Select it and click Start button. If you do not see your partition under Linux MD Write section or there is no this section at all, you either do not provide all the required drives. For example, it was two disks create zero, uh, but you provide only one disk. Or MD Write uh, records are severely damaged. Uh, if you provide all the required drives, but you still do not see your partition, uh, you need to recover RAID parameters uh, used in your Buffalo device. Uh, to do this, uh, use Reclaim Free RAID recovery software first and only then Reclaim File Recovery to extract data. Let's get back to our recovery. I see a folder named XFS on the left. Check it. Preview the files. It's OK. At this point, I can stop the recovery and start copying data because Reclaim Me File Recovery is designed in such a way to bring you the data first into the scan. So, once you see that the number of files in Decatur stops growing, it is safe to click Stop and save the data. Reclaim me team was with you. See you soon.